my stream and today we are going hey guys welcome back and today we are going to be playing fall guys ultimate knockout and we are and we are going to have a special guest today with us one two three my sister hey yeah she's here and today we're gonna be playing fall guys and talking about jesus ain't that right yeah. Yep. Okay, guys, we are going to be playing, and you guys see how I only have 15. It's because of I spent it on that that green skin right there. Well, the horse I just bought like yesterday, but that green like painting or whatever. Yeah. So back to talking about <laughs> Genesis 1, 1, here Ella, Ella is going to be my book holder, she's going to be holding the book while I read from it and tell you guys about it. So it's kind of like a sermon maybe, doesn't matter, <laughs> uh, here, okay, no, she said, Okay, here, you, you just, okay, no, it's fine, I'll, I I know what I'm doing. Okay, you got, no, you can close it, you don't have to. Um, we are gonna be talking about Genesis, because I couldn't finish it. So, yes, what he, like, so, Cain, Abel, and, Cain, Abel, and Seth, I'm pretty sure, I'm guessing, maybe, I forgot the names, but, they were, they, two of them were good. Cain was not good. He was not a good person, was he, Ella? You have to talk louder. No. Okay. So, nobody, so Cain actually killed his brother Abel. And, yes. So, and God didn't like that. So God sent, told Noah, you know, the guy I was talking about, Noah from Noah's Ark. He told Noah to build an ark. I'll give you 40, how many days, Ella? 40 weeks and 40 nights and 40 days. 40 days and 40 nights? Good job. Give us 40 days and 40 nights to build an ark, a massive ark to keep two of each animal. Doesn't matter. T li tiger, lion, whale. Two of every single animal, every type. Exactly. So, yeah. Then they gave, they did that. My sister has to go do something real quick. So he did that. He he um did what the Lord said, and then God was gonna flood the earth. So Noah did, had to take his family and wait. What's it? What's their names? I'll get I'll get you my sister back in a second, and she'll tell you because she knows all about Noah's Ark. I forgot the names of the kids. Honestly, but I'm more of a John. I'm more of a gospel type of guy. Okay, what does uh, what's the uh, what's uh, what's his name? What's his what's Noah's kids' names? Um, isn't there Japis? Yeah, Japis, one of them. Japis. Oh, yeah. Ham. Yep, Japis Ham. Who else? I'm gonna go ask Dad. Yeah, you go ask Dad. <laughs> I'm dead. Never mind, no I'm not. I know. Sham, Sham, and Jake. Oh yeah, that's right, Sham. So yeah, you heard it from Ella. <laughs> oh no, I'm done. Yeah, so Ham, Sham, and Jape is his kids, and what's his wife's name? Oh. No, it's fine, it's fine, Ella. Never mind, guys. If Ella gets it, she gets it. It's fine. Uh, I feel like she's going to because she loves Noah's Ark. I like, I I love the story too, but like I'm more of like a John 3:16. <laughs> okay, I get that. Yeah, it's fine. <coughs> we'll figure out someday, and then we'll tell you. Uh, yeah. So On the next we will. Maybe we will. Ella, they can't see you. I know. Okay. Um, we will tell you. Well, yeah, and then he gave him, 
I already talked about the footy. I'm getting off track here. Uh, here, let me tell him. You speak. Okay. They built an ark. It has to be, it was humongous. Oh, well, we already told him about that. Okay, so t back to the point, because God did not like the world. Where, well, he, he, God will always love the world, but I mean, he really, like, he didn't like how it was so evil. Like, and he didn't like that, so he, he's AFK, but he did not like that, so, yeah, that's where Noah comes in. And actually, Noah ended up living to be 600 or something like that years old. Can you guys imagine that? You guys watch the movie. You know? Nobody cares about the movie. Sorry. But that movie is not good. I'm sorry. I love the story. The story is like 10 times better than the movie. Well, it says in the Bible that um, in, in Noah's Ark that um, actually he didn't try to hurt his kids. I know. They basically made that part. I know. I don't. I'm sure nobody of them watches watches watch the movie because actually, um, I bet you one person watching. Maybe nobody's watching. Come on, live stream, live stream here. We need some subscribers, or you need some. Subscribers. I mean, no, I'm not doing it for the subscribers. I'm doing it to share the word of Jesus. Nobody's watching. We just want to tell everybody about Jesus. Amen. He says that when he gets excited. <laughs> He's happy. Well, I'm not gonna make it, cause, bro. Do you see this? Mm -hmm. I'm fine, honestly, because it. Uh, this is. This doesn't matter. And yeah, let's do. Let's go. Ella, what? Ella, rude. <laughs> Ella, what do you think? What do you want me to read? What about we read? Like what story? John three sixteen. What you thinking? John three. How about we? Grayson loves John three sixteen. Favorite verse. He says, "God so loved the world that he became." For God so loved the world, he gave his only son, so that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Yeah, I kind of remember. It's easy to remember, honestly. All you have to do is, like, just say it, like, 20 times, and you've already got it. God loved the world, so God loved the world, he began. No, it's, for, yeah, Ella, look it in your Bible. Just keep reading it in your Bible, then you'll get it. Read. That's true. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, I look like I'm seven, but I'm actually six. No, you look like you're, like, five. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. You're you look like you're six. Yeah, you look you look like your age. I look like I'm a third grader. <laughs> you look like you're like about to go into seventh grade. I, pff, thanks. You actually are. No, I'm not. No, it's the beginning of the school year, Ella. <laughs> no, well, I mean like you are going into. Uh, you're yeah. in sixth grade. If anybody know, I'm in first grade. He's in sixth grade. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't come to our doors, but. Mm -hmm. I hope not. <laughs> I was gonna say. Uh, um, our next story we are gonna be talking about is let's talk about um, actually let's talk about Luke chapter 15. Then we'll do one more, and then we'll just do something else. I don't know. I don't know a different scripture. Maybe I don't know. Just give me some time. I mean, yeah, I mean, sure. No. If you guys don't know, he starts with a G, so he likes the color green. No, that's not literally the, that's literally not even the reason. Oh, also guys, like, you know, if, if there's maybe a, you know, kind of black person watching, I don't want to be racist or anything, but if there, there's a black person watching, you guys do not, it's every man's, it's every man's, like culture it's not a white person's it's not a black person ella and because let's think about this because jesus belongs to africa as much as he does asia europe israel places like that and um you're gonna be in trouble what do you what for what? a black person's mom gonna come in and they're gonna say no oh. um uh and one more thing, Ella, can you pick up my Bible? Je one of the, a black person helped Jesus care like carry the cross. So yeah, if you guys didn't know, he died on the cross for us. I've told them that. 
like a thousand times. <laughs> So guys, yes, like, so don't think about that. Don't think it's not yours. That you black, you black people out there, I'm not afraid to say it, because it's sad to say. It's true, because, and guys, also, just in these tough times in the world, just please, just, instead of going to the bad things that the world wants you guys, eyes, money, and bad, other bad things, don't just don't do it idolize Jesus God Noah those people from the Bible and also think about this Stephen Curry and Kevin Durant I don't know if you could know those guys every time Steph Curry makes a three-pointer he points to God so I mean that's oh that's a sign that he's a that that he's loves God so I mean and so I mean there's no there's nothing wrong about idolizing Kevin Durant and Steph Curry I do after I saw that, the, that uh, after I saw that, there's this video of Kevin Durant, like saying that he's uh, that he th that he has a Bible in his backpack. He's be him and Curry have become my favorite players. What? So guys, listen. If you're, I don't mean to be racist, but even if you're a black person, you're white. Who cares how you are? It's, God will still love you, even if you don't believe in Him. Amen. Again. He likes to say that. Oh, to be mothers, yeah. I'm not, no, it's because it's true. But also, y'all. Um, Did you just call my ooh, fan group, y'all? Wow. Say that now, nowadays. But you guys, even if you're like, oh, I want to be like Steph Curry, and then you're like, uh, let's put a Bible on my back. That's not going to make you like him. Everybody's different. Don't give me those eyes. I almost just made it. <laughs> also, like, oh! I this game, it's called Sims for $4. Really? <laughs> or you're like, oh, I want this basketball game. And you're like, oh, I wish I could just have that basketball game. You need to be, who cares if you don't get it? You're gonna get it someday. Maybe ask for your birthday or... Guys. What she's trying to say is, I know it's kind of hard to understand her. I'm getting lost too. <laughs> yeah, if you don't, it's fine. Just bear in with her. The thing to say is like, mm. I'm, if you, who cares if you, if you want this game and you don't get it, you can ask for something else. Like, you can ask for a game that's free. But also, you can ask for it for your birthday. You can ask for it for Christmas. One time? I I got a little lost and it's free. You know, but I say if I'm happy that I get games, and Grayson is because he got he has this hunting game that's eight dollars, and you know he said sometimes life isn't fair. Yeah, it's not fair. Technically, what she's trying to trying to say is it just guys life it isn't fair, and it doesn't matter about those things. The only thing that should matter. Yeah. The only thing that should matter. That matters is the Bible, and in other things like you need to be nice to family, your family, respect, love, butter. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Oops, wrong one. Uh. Yeah, guys, so, but uh, what I was going to say, I even lost it because of how boring her sermon was. I'm joking. Ella, relax. <laughs> here, you know what? I don't really care if somebody says, like, uh, you're stupid. I just ignore them. Just ignore them. What she's trying to say is, guys, be, people might think you're weird because what? you're, because you're, Ella, this is mine. Because you're, because you love God, and you're like, put yourself to God. People are, people will think you're weird. It's okay, be weird for God and Jesus. Yeah. I'm telling you, the reward in the end. You think um, God and Jesus thinks we're weird? Nah. <laughs> nah, they, yeah. they think that. We, if you have like hair all the way down to here, they still love you. That, oh, well, that's just, that's just being rude. But also. <laughs> I don't mean to be rude to the people that have long hair. I have short hair. Um, you don't have short hair. Ava has like hair down to her. Her butt. 
<laughs> longer than that. Like down. Is it actually? No, that's guys. You're getting off, Ella. You're getting off track. Don't we don't want to get off track? Get back to our Even if ah. if somebody says no. you're not you, like, Ella, you Ella, weird? Ella, I got this. I got this. Who cares, say? Guys, be weird for Jesus. Yeah, Because in the in the end get in the end time. In the end, whenever we're all gone, it's gonna be way, way better than down here. So I mean, well, I don't know, I went to my and my hair was like sticking out like. Ella, stop telling stories. Oh, so what? Stop. So, guys, it doesn't matter what what you look like. It doesn't matter what you did. It doesn't matter about anything. Like anything that you did, God still loves you. Yeah. And God loves everybody in the world. Yes, He loves anybody and everybody. He, that's just even that. Those people that don't believe in God. It's, yeah, that's just how, tr how that's just how great He is. Yeah. So, guys, great just person. and and Jesus through these hard times, you know, it's helped me, like just be, be believing in God and just making sure that He make like just knowing that He is gonna. That he is our Lord and Savior. He's the King of Kings, and he will get us through this. And guys, if there's nothing to do because of the, like you know the the, the coronavirus. You know, if you if you don't have a Bible, so you can just ask your dad, like like what about the Bible? And guys, if you, if you live have a Bible, you can read it. Whatever. And guys, if you live in my hometown, Salem, Indiana, guys, I'm gonna tell you something right now. Come to our church, Cranton Christian Church. We would love to see you there. My parents teach children's church, and if you're a child or an adult, just come. You know what I mean? And um, if your parents don't know, they can. Like, if your parents don't know, they can. If your parents don't know, they can. Like, 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 on Facebook, like on online and stuff, look up my CCC Life, and you'll see it. It will have their sermons, like and it'll have all those updates from like, like let's say there's no, it, sh it will show his, um, it will show like all the sermons that is posted on there. And guys, if you're able to come, we would be so happy if you decided to come. And we just, you don't have to dress up nice. Who cares what you look like? Mm -hmm, that's right. We just, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter what you look like. To, we just want you to come here and get. If you're a really good Christian and you already go to a church, we get that. You can go to your church, but go ahead. Well, you kind of covered it. Because, like, even if you, even if you don't like, if you, even if you don't, if you're not, if you don't wear nice clothes, that does not matter. It's about being there. Yeah, basically. And guys, even if you're gonna be still a good Christian if you even if you don't go to church, because if you think about it, that where in the Bible does it say to go to? I'm pretty sure it doesn't say anywhere. I, I guys, I might be messing up right here, but I don't think it says anywhere in the Bible to go to church because church wasn't a thing back then. Well, that that and uh, like. That is, you don't have to go to church just to be a good Christian. You can read the Bible. Also got, oh, go ahead. And you can just pray every night. I pray every day, yeah, which you, everybody should, because, you know, God in, is helping us through this right, world right now. Like, and we should just be thankful that he's here with us. What were you going to say, Allah? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Okay, that's weird. Okay, one second. Oh, I was gonna say, um, also, when, you know, when we moved to our new house, we weren't really good Christians. And. We didn't in God. We just didn't, like, go to church. And uh, then, then we I said, I, because I just, like, dark. Yeah, tell, that's what she said. Okay, so. Like what she's trying to say is before we, before we weren't like really big people about like my dad as a kid, he went to church and stuff, but we really never been like big Christians. But then before the coronavirus hit, uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, he did. Sorry, I'm wrong. Basically, guys, so we weren't really good Christians. Ella, we I, Ella, I got this. We weren't good Christians, but then whenever the coronavirus hit, I was like, I don't really have anybody. Like, I don't. Besides my dad and my family, like there was nobody I really did talk to. I was like, but then I started started thinking, and I was like, maybe like God is there. Well, I knew God was. I believed in God and all that, but I just wasn't a Christianity as I am now. If that makes sense. So I I said to my dad, Hey, Dad, I want to go to church, and he said, Okay, like next time we'll be able to, we can go. And then the first time we went, we've been in love with it every single time, and now we just go every Sunday, and we go to Life Group every Wednesday as well. Also, guys, if it wasn't for Grayson, we wouldn't be we wouldn't be going to church. That's not true. Well, here's the thing. Sometimes, like he said, but. Before we tried to go, we were like, Mom and Dad were like, I don't think we should go because of the but So we started doing it at home because my dad... We started watching his Tony's preaches like from the internet, and we started reading the Bible every Sunday, which was awesome. And then, like, one day, we went, and then every single Sunday, except for one time, which was a baseball tournament, which, you know, we can't do anything about that. We went every single Sunday after that. So, yeah, so, guys, and the only, no, Ella, you're wrong. Like, I don't, I'm sorry to be like this, but you're wrong about me being the one that started us. It was God and Jesus. It was just, it was God's plan. But also, guys, if you, if you're, like, um, like a good, really good Christian, if, and if you have a Bible, you know. I'm pretty sure if they're a really good Christian, no, they know what to do. <laughs> you know to um, if you heard, not heard this, if you're like angry or mad or sad, you know you can just take out your Bible and like. like I my dad listened to these uh, preachers, and then in one it says like you should just. If you're mad at the devil, just say. Just Start say, screaming. No, he didn't say that. Uh, Billy Graham. Well, no, it's uh, what's his name? The something of Judah. But guys, uh, and guys, also, if you if you have something, if you have nothing to do and you'd like to just listen to something, either go to my CC Life, like I said, or just look up Billy Graham. He has a bunch or just. Dins Aunt Franklin, The Lion of Judah, all those. Uh, I mean, yeah. Whenever I get my, guys, my phone's messed up, but whenever I get it fixed, we can, I will like go, I do an outside video maybe, and then I'll like preach maybe or something, like tell you some more about God, and like we'll do some like vlogs about and that stuff. So yeah. You just gotta stay tuned. Got a little messed up cause yeah, I dropped it. <laughs> but hopefully, sometime we can get a new one. Or hey, hugs, hugs. I want a hug. We love people. It says in the Bible to love people. Yeah, even if hey, even if you're not friends with them, you should still be. Friends. Yes, that's right. About what? What do you mean? What? What's no, not? It is raining. No, I'm gonna end the stream after this, after this match, honestly, because. But what I mean to say is, like, even <laughs> if if you're mad at the devil, just say, like, like, come on, devil, be like, uh. Somebody like calling me? I thought someone was calling me for a second. <laughs> but like, say like, devil, I love. I'm a Christian. I don't do this. No, if somebody, if, like, yeah, if the devil is, that is talking to, if you guys got a bad thought in your mind, like, is God, is God really real and stuff like that, just start screaming Bible verse. Look up the best one for me. The easiest one is John 3:16. It's so easy because it's for God so loved the world, He gave His only Son, so that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. You don't have to do a Bible verse. <laughs> I love. Kids. My go-to is John 3:16, and I'll say. Like guys, it don't be don't be like secretive. Be like, for God so loved the world, He gave His only Son, so that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. Scream it around your house. I don't care. You shouldn't care if you get in trouble. It's about you want to run the devil away. 
Yeah, and also you can do it out. You can do it out loud. You can do it. In your, you can in your head, guys. Do not be afraid to be weird for Jesus. Yeah, that's all I'm saying, guys. Cause let's think. There's this one kid at our church. I'm gonna talk about our. There's somebody. Well, my dad was preaching one day. Well, not not preaching. Well, preaching in children's church. He said, the kid said, um, he's he said seri in like real seriousness. He was like, is there is there a hot tub in heaven? And we were like, my dad was like, it was hilarious. And then my dad was like, maybe. I was like, it was hilarious. Come on, okay. Yeah, guys, so just make sure, and I bet there's, in heaven is a way better place than here, if you th think about it, because yeah. in heaven, we will, you'll get to do b things that, like, you, you'll get to be places, like, like there's no hurt in it, there's no sadness, there's no, there's, there's all it is. Stuff, there's not going to be any meanness there, any mean people. Amen. No! Sorry, I'm just... Like playing, I'm just. But what worried. I mean is like, basically there will be like, my favorite. I'm excited to go to heaven because I'll get to see God and Jesus. And yep, I knew it was coming. Come on, I'm blocking this so then nobody can come in. I love Noah. Yeah, you know, we all know you love Noah. Mmm, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, get in there. Wait, you what? If you have Bible verses, um, if you don't like to find... Wait! Oh, I thought we just won. But, um, Overtime again, boys! Uh, Yellow team, keep it in there. Wait a second, no, no, no. Keep it in, I'm keep it in! Yes! 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 Oh. Tons of things you can read on the Bible. There's no, we tons lost! Tons, tons, yep. Like, 5,000 pages.